Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, as I've been mentioning, we are going to continue on with these VGC battles that are post, uh, simply because they're from the stream, they're good battles, and I wanted to showcase them. Uh, we have one more after this, so after this I will be tweeting out on Twitter almost every single day, probably every single day, um, looking for battles, so look forward to that. Um, if you do want to have a battle with me, uh, I will most likely be tweeting out somewhere between 2pm and 4pm Eastern Standard Time, so look out for that uh, if you guys want to get a battle in. Uh, I will be doing that hopefully every day. Uh, I'll give maybe about like 20 minutes for a response and then I'll move on and just do Wi-Fi. Uh, I do that because, you know, I can't spend all day waiting for someone to respond, but hopefully someone will respond eventually. So, getting into the battle. Uh, I brought the Charizard team again. I liked it. I'm going to hit play. We're going to get going. Start off with Charizard and Scrafty. I like that combo. It works out really well for me. Uh, and my opponent will be starting out with... Um, Gallade and Clodzer. Now when I saw his team, I saw his team being very, very Trick Room. Uh, and while my team is Trick Room as well, I like to... Uh, my matchup against Trick Room teams, I like to sort of avoid getting into Trick Room because Charizard is definitely the main force of the team. And uh, it's usually pretty fast for Trick Room, so... That's sort of why I like to start off with Scrafty and Charizard. This way I can sort of stop the Trick Room Setter and either heavily damage it or kill the partner. Uh, which is what I opted to do here. I decided to go for Solar Beam on the Clotzer. I figured it would stay in. Uh, I really didn't see any reason for it not to stay in. Uh, because probably, you know, my more important thing would be to get the galley. Now, he has Steadfast, which I found sort of interesting, you know. Uh, I don't think I ever got an answer, but his team looks very, very like a um, Trick Room team. And I was curious why he was using Steadfast, because it doesn't give you any distinct bonuses against Fake Out, you know, if you are truly using Trick Room. Uh, because it does make you faster. But, you know, I, I don't really know. Uh, so, in comes Mawile, and, uh, you know, I figured, hey, Player Off is probably going to be coming my way for Scrafty. I need to bring Trevenant in here. Um, he does end up sucker punching the Charizard, which I take decently well, but because there is no Trick Room on the field, I do go faster. But, unfortunately, I do miss my... My heat wave on both of them. Both of them. That's both of them. Um, but I decided to protect here because I knew either a sucker punch or the galley was going to come at me. Uh, I really didn't have much of a choice. I didn't want to switch into anything, even though Rhydon could easily take the psych psycho cut. Um, I think he actually sucker punched the Trevenant because uh, it failed. It didn't say it. It. Um, it I, I, I protected myself. So I think that's what it is, uh, and I decided to continue doing Will-O-Wisp, uh, because obviously Gallade is a physical attacker. However, he misses it again, so that's the third thing! Third thing! It's ridiculous! But whatever, <laughs> you know? Um, so obviously I have my ride on in. Uh, there's no Trick Room up, but I should be fast enough to, you know destroy this Mawile. Uh, he does play off my Trevenant and I do miss, so that sort of equalizes how everything happened. And then I do crit him. Uh, however, the crit probably did not matter as much simply because, you know, um, the burn damage. So, yeah, whatever. So I go for Trick Room. You know, I think I did that because I wanted to be able to... Because I didn't, I didn't expect to kill the Mawile. Um, I wanted to outspeed it next turn. But what happens here is I decide to end up protecting with my Rhydon uh, because that Trick Room will put me in a bad position against this Amoongus and I really, really need to get rid of this Amoongus before I can really do anything. Now he actually Rage Powders here uh, and I think that might have been a misclick because Giga Drain would have done a lot. Uh, I end up going for sub in this off chance that maybe I'll get a good chance to get it up. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure if he would go for Rage Powder, but I just wanted to play it safe, you know, really just in case. And with the sub up, Rhydon's a really tough Pokemon to beat. Um, plus, it seems like I was faster than this Amoongus anyway in Trick Room, so the sub would have definitely been very useful here. 
Uh, the Rage Powder really didn't help him at all. Uh, so he, he does end up going for Giga Drain on the Rhydon, and behind the sub, I am going to be able to take this, which is very good, which is why I basically went for it. I also went for it because of uh, Spore, and that's really about it. Um, I finally get that will o spawn to the Gallade. I'm not really worried at it, about it at all. Hornleash actually does a good amount of damage, and I'm very happy with that damage. Uh, but it turns out he does have uh, Citrus Berry, so he won't go down to burn, and I was like, oh, we were so close. Uh, but he goes for Psycho Sh Cut, Psycho Cut, uh, and it eventually really doesn't do very much because of that burn, and... You know, at this point, the Galide's sort of useless. Uh, my ride on while I'm not behind sub will go against the uh, the uh, Amoongus to do Drill Run, and luckily enough, I do actually get Paralysis. Now it didn't really end up mattering because he didn't go for Spore, but I, I, that was the one sort of hex that I actually really appreciated because being paralyzed in Trick Room means I'm gonna be probably the fastest thing in the game. Um, and all that jazz, so I was actually pretty happy about that, and I was actually really hoping Trick Room would end at so soon, soon, hopefully, you know, before my, or, or when my Rhydon goes down, and it does, this way I can bring in my Charizard, who, while only has 11 HP, will outspeed this Amoongus, and will be able to take it out with Heat Wave, so, that, that was my plan, and it tended, and, it tended, and it did work, which is fantastic, because I am able to take out this Amoongus. Uh, there was a bit of hacks that match, um, on both sides, really. But, you know, I, I think we both played through it, and we both were able to handle it, and uh, he played really well. I'm really curious as to why he has Steadfast on a Galliot. It was most likely a Trick Room team, from what I saw. You know, I, he had two potential setters. Uh, his team was really slow. I It just screen trick room to me um, and I'm kind of wondering why he didn't spore the ride on I don't know if he expected effect spore to proc or what but or me to go for another substitute I can't say for cert certain but hey that's what happened so thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it and we will be getting back to live battle soon thank you very much and hope to see you guys in the next video peace